Hi again and welcome to this video and this is a continuation of the previous video that I've made here and this video is all about registering a domain name and connecting it to a web hosting provider. So in that video, I taught you, in this video, I taught you kung paano ka mag-register sa namechip.com and how you're going to register as well in interserver.com. So if you haven't watched this video yet, better watch it first before you watch this video. So with this video, I'm going to teach you now how are you going to install the free SSL certificate which makes your website secured in front of the customers or in front of the people who are visiting or planning to visit your site you know that that lock icon dun sa search bar this one this one this is very important to make your site more credible and safe in front of the visitors Another thing is that I will teach you how are you going to create your personal email in line with that domain name that you have purchased. And lastly, I'm also going to teach you how to install one-click WordPress in your, well, at least more than one click, of course, but so easy that you could easily follow and do it on your own right away. And after that, we are going to implement the SSL setup that you've made and successfully integrate it to your WordPress website. All right, are you ready? So with that, let's go to our real-time demo now. All right, so for sure, if you followed my recent video, you can now see this on your screen. If you will type in your domain here on the search bar, ito yung makikita mo talaga, index of. And don't worry, that's normal. Hindi yan problema. It's normal for a newly installed domain or connected domain and web hosting server. So you have to go to your cPanel, which I already taught you last time. Dito tayo gagawa ng mga back-end stuff. What we are going to do is to install the free SSL from cPanel specifically provided by inter server so you will notice here that it is this is the lock icon that you could also see doon sa mga website ng binibisita mo for example let's say namechip.com this lock icon certifies that this website is secured and safe so that's what we want to our website as well we want that our website ay mayroong ganito why? Because on the visitor's end, again, this will help them decide that, hey, this website is really secured. And lalo na kung if you're going to offer some products on your website, they will know that your site is secured. So let's go back here. Now, there are a lot of ways as well wherein you could manually install SSL. But for your reference, you could also use cloudfair.com. You could search on YouTube online how to use the free SSL by Cloudflare. But since InterServer already has this free SSL, we are going to use it. So what we are going to do here is to just click this wrench icon here. You could press Ctrl para sa new tab na lang siya bubukas. Go to here. And then you will see it doesn't have an SSL certificate. You will notice this sign, di ba? Parang it's not secured, it's not secured, it's not secured. All you need to do is to run auto SSL. Take note, it takes time. Medyo mahaba to. And since I'm doing this real time, you will notice na mahaba to. Alright, so it was just less than 5 minutes. Wala pang ang 5 minutes. It was already installed. So you will now notice that auto SSL domain validated. So you will notice here as well na okay na siya. By the way, I want to mention on my previous video, I used bryzendigital.com. So I've decided to change to bryanzenarosa.com for some personal reasons. And I think I, I would like to mention this as well. Let me just go back to my camera. I would like to mention this that when you are 
purchasing a domain under Namecheap, do you know what? The good thing is that if you purchase it within three days, you have the privilege to change it. You just need to contact the, the support and they will not bill you more dollars. Okay, so that's another tip. Let's go back to our video. Okay, now we're back to our tutorial on how you are going to activate SSL. But let's go back to our main dashboard first. Let's refresh it. You will notice now that it has the lock icon here and it has the DV certificate here. So let's try to check it out. Brian, generosa.com Okay, so now you will see this. Yan, yung sinasabi ko kanina. Right? So, secured na siya ngayon. Before, hindi pa siya secured. It looks like this. Minsan, nakalagay pa dyan, not secure. But once you activated the certificate or SSL certificate, you will now have this lock icon. Good? Alright. Another tip here. On your main dashboard, you could just refresh it, press F5. I'm using Windows here. So you just need to go down here to so the domain section. This is something that I usually do on top of activating your SSL certificate here. What I do here is that I press this. Okay, I always press this force HTTPS redirect. Okay, so just press that and then you're all good. Now, we're done with the back end activation of the SSL certificate. Actually, okay na to, but I'm also going to teach you just in case it doesn't look like this and it still shows not secure, don't worry, it takes time. So, kapatid ko, humabot minsan ng 1 hour, 2 hours before it shows itong lock icon na to and saka siya naging secure but just in case it still don't work not secure pa rin yan don't worry I'm going to teach you something also later on for now we are going to proceed creating our email so just go down here sa email section here just click email account Actually, gumawa na ako ng, ng email account ko dito. CEO at BrianGenerosa.com Because by default, you will just have this email. Okay? By default, this will be your registered email here. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a more personalized email. So you can also create on your own. I will just show you kung paano ginawa ito. Like this. Create. So this is your domain. And what I did is that I just put CEO here, set my password here, you could put any password here that you want. And then on my end, I put unlimited here, I choose unlimited. And then I just keep these settings as is, then just press create. Okay, once you click create, then you will have this already. Let me just go back. You will have this already in your dashboard. Now, you could check your email here and then just click this one. Then you will now see this dashboard. So, nasan yung email dyan? Dito lang po. You just need to check it here. Then, there you go. As I've mentioned, I've done this already. Tinesting ko na rin siya and it is really perfectly working well. Actually, kinonek ko na siya sa email marketing service ko which is sendfox and it is really working well my suggestion you could just bookmark this on your end if you always want to access this okay now we're done creating an email back tayo gumawa ng email because i want to use this email as my login for my wordpress okay so now we are on part three we are now going to install WordPress. There are different ways to install WordPress. Okay? Yung iba mano-mano dito sa wordpress.org download and you just need to download this and put the file in file manager here. So what's inside this file manager? Let's check it. This is what's inside the file manager. 
dito nilalagay yung file na madadownload dito. It will be in installed here. Again, by the way, what is this CGIBIN? This is also the file that you could see here. Okay, so what are you going to do with this? So you could just delete this. Again, we are working on the back end. C panel is the back end of what you could see from the front end. So this is your front end and you just need to delete this. So let's try to delete this on the back end. Delete. Skip the trash. Permanently delete this. Done. Directory is empty. Let's try to refresh. Now it's gone. Okay lang yan. Hindi natin kailangan yung file na yun. So now, we are going to proceed installing WordPress. Let's close some tabs here para medyo malinis. Okay, so now we are going to proceed with installing the WordPress. You just need to go down here sa Softaculous App Installer. Maybe in the future this will change but all you need to do is to click this. And then you will be redirected to this page. And all you need to do is to, is to click install. Then you will be now redirected to this. Let's dive into this. Let's remove the WP here. Let's put in your site name. For example, for me, Brian Zenarosa. Site description. Okay. Okay, so now on your admin username, you could choose any username that you want. For me, I will just put Brian. Okay, and then again, as I've mentioned, I will use the CEO email. By default, you could use the admin, but since I've already created my email, so I could use it already. That's the point why I created my email first. So that's it. You could just check it. If you want to install a theme already right away, then you could just do that. But for me, I will not install anything yet. Okay, stop. So it is now installing Let's just wait for a while and that is it okay congratulations the software was installed successfully so now this is your website okay your wordpress is now installed on your website and take note of this this is what you are going to use to access the back end of your website through wordpress click that and then you will be redirected to your WordPress dashboard. Automatic yan, pag clinic mo dun. But what if you are going to log in? Okay, you're logged out. So all you need to do is to put WP admin here. Sometimes you could also put WP login. With some of my clients, in login is back end like this. But gener generally, you could use WP admin. Then now you will be redirected here. Put your username here. Then put your password here. Personally, I use Remember Me para automatic na login. And now you will have access to your WordPress dashboard. So that's it for the installation of WordPress. Now I'm going to teach you what are you going to install first. So basically, ang ginagawa ko is that I will install a coming soon plugin and the really simple SSL. Just like what I've mentioned earlier, sometimes hindi pa rin nag appear itong lock button na to on your website. And that is because sometimes you need to install yung really simple SSL. But if it is already locked, you don't need to install yung plugin. But for the sake of this video, just in case you are having that problem, this is the plugin that you are going to install. Add new plugins, add new and then you need to search for really simple SSL. Just wait for a while. Then install this. Activate. Go ahead, activate SSL. Okay, so that's it. Once you're done with that, you will now surely see that your URL is now secured. Okay, so if you have any question, feel free to comment below so that I could personally help you. Now, the last plugin that we are going to install is the coming soon plugin. So I personally use this plugin. Search for seed prod. I'm using this plugin 
or a coming soon plugin because it's so easy to use one halos one click lang siya and then install now okay now activate it so now you need to create your first page this is what we are going to activate set up coming soon page okay so you could choose some templates here personally i will just use i think just this one okay let me use this pili na lang kayo dito pero either of this one okay lang para parehas na lang tayo <laughs> so get ready with something gaming gaming seo pay that word i think oh, you can just edit here there we go save then after saving it it is now saved you can now publish it see live page okay so this will be your live page right now okay close exit now you need to make this active okay so that's it now how are you going to check it so go to brianzenarosa.com you have to log out of course for you to be able to see it so go to brianzenarosa.com and now it is perfectly showing the coming soon page so which is better this one or this one okay one more thing this is very important now kapag nagsimula kang mag-upload ng mga files mga themes by default yung inter server this is what i've just noticed yung inter server sometimes it has some upload limit kung gaano kalaki nung yung files that you could upload or gaano kalaki yung theme that you could upload so just in case you struggled with that all you need to do is to go back to your dashboard if you're using inter server you need to go here at the software section select page b version Take note, I've already actually changed this already. So, medyo matagal lang siya. There we go. By default, again, binago ko na to, ah. By default, it is set to native 7.3. But you have to change it to 7.4. Now, once you are done changing that, you can now go to options. And then, here is my suggestion. There are limits here. Usually, dito sa pinakbaba, this is usually set to 2 megabytes. Now, you need to change this to 256. So, that's it. Uh, another thing. There's one more thing that I've changed here. When it comes to themes, ito naman dapat natin binabago. By default, this is set to 8. But you have to change it. Just like me, I'm going to use Divi, which is somehow the theme is around 9 MB. So, hindi siya ma-upload. So, I need to change it to around 64. So, that's it. So, there will be no issue right now pagdating sa pag-install mo ng mga themes that has high megabytes. So, that's it for this video and maybe for this series. I don't know if meron pang kasunod. Let's see. But, I do hope that this video helped you a lot. Start your own website from registering to a domain name to registering for a web hosting service and then activating the SSL certificate, creating your own business email, and finally, activating WordPress on your website. I do hope that this video helped you a lot. And if yes, if it does help you, please like this video, share this video to someone na alam mong gusto rin gumawa ng sarili lang website. Very cheap and affordable and they could start marketing whatever it is that they want to market online. And that's it for today. See you on our next video. Bye.